What is going on YouTube? Zach here, the professional nerd. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about how to install automatic bed leveling on a 3D printer with the BL Touch. Uh, I, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the BL Touch on the uh, JG Aurora uh, A5 3D printer. So let's get right into that video. Okay, so I'm gonna do a brief overview of the BL Touch. So for those of you who don't know what a BL Touch is, it is a Z end stop probe that has the servo and the actual end stop built into one single probe unit like this, such. Um, as you can see from the probe, there is actually five uh, wires. Um, you will have to either make some uh, servo extenders or just cut them off uh, add on some ribbon cable or some sort of cable that goes all the way uh, around your printer or to your control board and then you will then have it all connected. Uh, the first two over here, the black and white ones, uh, those will be used for the actual end stop, the Z end stop, and the black would be for ground and the white is for the common. Uh, just make sure you do not hook any of this up, the red, the black or the uh, white to the 5 volt line on the end stop rail or you will destroy either your motherboard or your probe or both. Uh, the next part is the brown, red, and orange and those three are used for the uh, servo commands. The red of the servo is for 5 volts, the brown is for ground, and the orange is for the signal that will come from the servo rail. Uh, as you can see, you also need to design or 3D print or find on Thingiverse a mount for the uh, probe or the uh, BL Touch probe. As you can see, I use this probe. It just attaches over to the uh, on this left side here, and then it just wraps around, and then it's able to uh, sit with two screws like such. Um, so on Ant AntClabs uh, slash BL Touch, uh, the website you will be able to find uh, tons of wiring diagrams uh, for each different type of control board. But in my video, I am going to be talking about how I wired it for the JG Aurora, which uses the MKS Gen L uh, 3D printer control board. Okay, so I now have an extra Maker or MakerBase MKS Gen L that I'll go ahead and show where I connected everything to. So here is the Z-Min right here. I connected it in there to the middle and the bottom one. Um, so the middle one is the ground, bottom one is the signal. Next are the servo pins, which are down here. Uh, since I now talked about all of the wiring, and that's all the hardware side of things, the mounting and the wiring to the board, we are now going to jump onto my desktop, and we will be messing around in the Marlin firmware to add auto bed leveling and setting up everything correctly so it works. So let's jump on over there. Okay, so here is the Arduino IDE. Uh, we are going to have to go into configuration.h file and we're going to have to uh, change some settings or enable some settings for everything to work. So as I scroll through, I'm going to then show you what needs to be enabled or changed or just talk about the little things that need to be changed. Um, the first thing we have to do here is enable the Z-Min plug. Uh, make sure that is enabled. Inverting does not matter with the Z-Min. Uh, next is the Z-Probe options. Uh, we will be using the Z-Min probe. uses the Z-Min end stop pin, so make sure we uh, enable, or, uh, enable that. Uh, next, we have to make sure we uh, set the correct servo uh, connection for the BL Touch. Uh, as you can see, I mine is enabled at number three. So just do whatever uh, servo pin you have yours connected to, and you will not have any issues. Uh, you might have to test it a few times. As, so if you're when you start your printer up, it does not uh, enable when you do the BL Touch commands. You will have to make sure you change that uh, servo number until you get the correct one. Next, you will be enabling this BL Touch. Uh, so just make sure you have this uh, enabled here. Uh, everything else should be enabled already, so that should be all fine. Uh, here is where we need to do all of the offsets. And this is very important uh, to get right, or almost right, when doing your printer. Uh, 
So the Z probe offset does not matter too much because we will be able to change that within our slicer settings. But these two are okay to get a rough estimate. So as you can see, minus six millimeters to the right of the nozzle, 39 millimeters behind the nozzle, and 1.45 uh, millimeters below the nozzle. And that's just the end point of the uh, metal uh, probe part fully extended. So now we're gonna go into the bed leveling section and we will be enabling bed leveling UBL, which stands for Unified Bed Leveling. That just creates a mesh and does everything very nicely. It is uh, my favorite type of bed leveling within Marland. Um, so you'll be enabling that, and then you will be going down into the next setting or section that's called Unified Bed Leveling. Uh, I have mine at a seven by seven grid, so you can go ahead and use that. Um, here are just some uh, three random probe points I use. I use 4040. Uh, 265 by 40 which is the uh, so this is the front left this is the front right and this is gonna be the back right 265 265 so those are the three that I used um, the next thing that we have to enable now is uh, if we go down into I believe additional features yep additional features we will have to make sure all of this is enabled for EEPROM that is just so you can actually save all of your parameters for auto bed leveling uh, so whenever you turn off your printer, you don't have to auto-level it every single time you turn it back on. That just saves it all. Lastly, we have to go all the way down to the bottom of the configuration at H and enable the servos. Uh, I just enabled all four servo pins because uh, I was not sure which one I actually used. But make sure whatever number is there for ser uh, num servos, you have uh, the same amount of arguments within servo delay or you will be getting an error when doing it. So the next step would just be to going up to tools, make sure you select all your ports, and just clicking the upload button and uploading and compiling your sketch to your 3D printer. Okay, so I am now in Pronterface connected to my 3D printer. Uh, I run a G28 command just to test to make sure the uh, probe is correct. Uh, next, we will run M502, which then brings in the default settings loaded from EEPROM, which resets EEPROM, which allows you to do unified bed leveling. G28 will then home the printer again, and I just do that to make sure everything's nice and ready for the auto leveling. So the auto leveling command that we will be using is G29. P1, which runs phase one of unified bed leveling. This is just going to uh, mo probe the mesh, and you can. There's other uh, phases that you can use in UBL, but you would have to read up on them because I have. This is all I usually use, and I get perfect prints, uh, flat build space every single time. Okay, so two quick things I would like to mention is if you have a heated bed, uh, you would want to heat it up to the temp that you usually print at um, when right before doing the probe and make sure it's fully heated up and then running all this. Um, another thing is this phase one, it jumps around randomly as you will see in the uh, time lapse. It jumps around and so it's completely random so it brings in a, um, a better average. So the next thing we run is G29S1 which then saves it to slot 1. And then we run a M500, which will then save it in EEPROM. Uh, a helpful command, if you'd like to use, is G29T, which then will uh, release a topography report of the mesh leveling. So as you can see, the lowest point is negative 0.15, which is looks to be the back right corner is higher. And it's pretty low over here in the front left. So you can do this and you can like 
put into an Excel document or some sort of graphing software or something that can just graph what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff in Kira. If you go to uh, your printer settings, you manage your printers, machine settings. Uh, this is the start G code I use. Uh, this is how you will need to do it. You will need to go home, home it, uh, activate. So G29A, G29L1 will load mesh one, which is in slot one, which is what we did with the S1. Uh, next, I usually I uh, bring the platform platform to 15, uh, set the extruder to zero, and then this is where I actually do the Z offset. So I do G20 uh, Z, sorry, G92 Z714.71, and that's just saying that when the nozzle thinks it's at 15, it's actually uh, reset to 14.71, which then you can just adjust around that to then get a better uh, Z offset. Uh, so I hope this video was useful uh, in installing the BL Touch. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.